Hello again, I'm Marisol Gonzalez Sterling and I will continue introducing to you to the vibrational world of light and color. Here we have a photograph of three lights shooting onto a platform that's a little elevated from the floor and we have the primary colors red, indigo blue and green projecting and we see that the shadows are from the polar opposite complementary colors. Instead, the uh, colors of the CYM, which is used for printing, which is cyan, yellow, and magenta, which is different from the um, RGB, red, green, and blue, which is the colors used for uh, aerating and emanating light. And these, when you f fuse, you mix three, you get white. Meanwhile, when you mix three in the other, um, secondary colors, you get black. And this is what you use for printing, but they have to add black because it's never completely black. So here again, we have a uh, three dots on a white space and uh, um, three dots in white over a black ground of black. And uh, if we see these through a, a prism, we would see what we have uh, on the graphic down below, where uh, the white spot would become yellow and blue until it fuses and you separate on the small dot and you see the green coming out and that is the primary colors. Meanwhile, the absorption colors, the ones that absorb, that come from pigment, are the other ones that uh, you always get red and violet around the black until the little dot that you have magenta and it's yellow, magenta and blue cyan. Finally, I was able to take a photograph with these intense colors. Just imagine that the black background is really a white wall. So finally, I got this intensity of the rainbows. And here we have two rainbows that can fuse together. We can, they can cross over each other and then we would get all the other colors. Like here, the intense uh, blue, uh, turquoise blue and the magenta on the side. These are from two rainbows being mm, crossed. Mm, and then here we have this uh, green and this magenta appearing too. And uh, finally, uh, from these two rainbows, we have these, here, this turquoise green and this magenta coming out, which are different colors from the seven of the rainbow. We have seen in the video prior that really the complementary colors is a reality, that uh, vibrationally we can counteract, contrast, or even wipe out completely the opposite color. So um, this is something that will tell us very important that also Bio, the biochemistry of uh, everything in life is from the sunlight. And that's the reason why some uh, medicines are not put in amber colors, they're not put in transparent colors. Now they would make them in indigo because they don't want anything to be changed that inside the bottle. For that reason, we receive light and color through the eyes, and this helps to regulate all the biochemical mechanism of our body. So uh, this is something that is very important that we have to know that the uh, light goes into the eyes through it directly into the hypothalamus and then it uh, influences all the hormones, the enzymes, the neurotransmitters. We place the prisms in the window and we uh, shoot and project the colors into a wall. The, the desired color for the person. In this case, we want uh, magenta. And then we project it directly into the eyes while the person is blinking. This is very intense and one cannot do it because uh, in any other ways, but having a whole clinical view behind and be able to see how the reactions are because sometimes there's very strong reactions physically that we don't know how to solve because they're strange, even mystical, or even sometimes some ways of, uh, of physical reactions and dreams that are very difficult to understand by. So we have all these therapists, cranial therapists around us when we do this and we make sure that a person is stable. We have to know that the uh, light goes into the eye and it affects the cones, which are the cells of the eye responsible for color, and that they vibrate at 500 billion cycles per second to see the color yellow and 
400,000, 400 billions will see the color red. And that when you put a color a very intense into the eyes, the pigment of what that color exhausts, and then it starts to irradiate the complementary color because the same cone is responsible for both colors. And then it activates the hormones, the enzymes, the neurotransmitters that are needing that color wavelength. If this is so, it's wonderful to have rainbows projected in your house, like I have here with those big prisms in my house. It will give you the the wanting to look at it, really getting very excited about it, and really like watching it quite often during the day. Or because projecting color through a prism into the eyes was so strong, I've created a software to do voice analysis relating the musical notes that are missing to the missing colors. And then I, uh, I've started uh, this way of uh, using the sunglasses of the color you need, which very, very strong, which helps the body do that and helps the biochemicals of the body be in a healthy way, just wearing the glasses as a sunglasses as much as you, time as you can during the day. For example, this is what the software gives us. This person has an excess of C-sharp or this red color and has kidney stones. Then we give them the color of the sunglasses of blue and no more kidney stones. I've seen it in many, many cases. The biochemistry regulates itself. What we would like to have is that the all the musical notes, all the biochemistry of all the colors would have similarity as this, which has every everyone has each color because maybe they are divided in two different bars, like in two different octaves. Here in this other example, we see up above the yellow, yellow, green, too high. Uh, but in the center one is even more imbalanced. There's too much yellow, too much D sharp. As you can see down below, it would be the perfect situation where we would get the indigo blue higher and instead. And in this one, the orange red is really high. You see, you project on them the bl the blue, and then they get it. The center one, you see it. The blue has gone higher just right after projecting the light. Then. Then the center, the one on the bottom and the uh, one on the left is how it is after one hour or how the person stayed after several projections. Then we have another example here where there has too much excess of, of, of blue, of G's, G's and G sharps. And then we, um, the opposite color, the red. And you see in the center um, diagram how it comes and what it stays like. Then here we have another person that has too much yellow. We give them blue, and again, you see in the center one how it is, how the blue on the bottom one, how it stays after one hour. It doesn't permanently stay like that. And with this voice analysis program, we can even see the waveforms of the voice with a, a different system of analyzing the voice and its harmonics. And we can even recognize with the molecular weight which are the nutrients needed for the person or the toxins that are not needed. So we can do a whole other system about it. I hope you like this presentation about light and color. In another video, I will get further into the relationship of the sound, musical notes with the color in light. And then I will get further into acupuncture meridians, its diagnosis and treatment.